Welcome back, folks, to part three. Part three? Episode ten. 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 It's huge. Ten, ten, ten. Huge. Uh, We've come uh, this far. It's crazy. And we're going further. Oh, yeah. We're not stopping here, people. When it gets to 50s and 100s, we got to put numbers and everything. That's true. We'll have to have, like, signs. Yeah, why don't you, you take care of that? You be the sign person. Sign guy? Sign guy. Sign guy Carter? Sign Woo! guy Carter of Top Rope Reality, yes. Yay! Okay, let's start off, and we're going to do our little top ten. Our top own right? top Ta ten. Tag teams. Because we know how to do it. They, these time. guys do not know how to come up with a flipping list. So you want to uh, run down each other's list, or you want to just go, I'll do my ten, you do your, you do number ten, or you want to do what? What do you want to do? I know we should have talked about this. We early. should have right. talked about this. What I'm going to do is my number 10, and you're going to do your number 10. Okay, we're, we're going to go back and 10. forth. So we don't want to be So there will be a few times that you'll probably hear the same name either after or before. That's so. true. I'll start. You want me to start? I'll start. Go ahead, you start. Number 10. Ladies first, always. Oh, that's real funny. <laughs> number 10. I bet you're going to be, so shut your mouth. <laughs> number 10. Demolition. Wow! Demolition. Even that low, huh? Number 10. They, they well, were great in my opinion. They were a rip-off. I do have Demolition on my list, but they're not number not 10. Not number 10. There you felt better there. about them. I picked John Morrison and The Miz at really? number 10. Yes. I didn't even have them. I didn't even think about them. Well, I'll go with number 9. You go number 9. Oh, number okay. 9. My number 9 is Demolition. Weird. Your number 9 is the same as Dirty E's number 9. Wow. It's my It's a son. Well, if I get that check, I won't worry about it. There you go. Number nine for me. Maybe TNA who? There you go. <laughs> Number nine for me is the Midnight Express. Wow, you are awful low with the Midnight Express. So sorry. I had them on my list as well. My, is that number? That's number eight for you. Yeah, but you're number eight. Oh, I got to go number eight now? Yes. The Steiner so Brothers. you go 10, 10, then I do 9, and you do 9. Oh, here we go. Hold on, we're doing explain here, and then you do that <laughs> this way. And we keep going back and forth like so this. So number 8 is the Steiners. I did not even add the Steiners. And that's sad Steiners. on his part. Not really. They were a great tag team. They were all over the place. They were in all kinds of companies. Come on. Mm. What's your number 8? Not really. What's your number 8? Steiners Come on. are okay. Come on. What did they do? They lost to the core backers in the WWE. This is WWE's fault. They're still a great tag team. If they were that great, they wouldn't have lost the Corbettors. Now, that's political. That's all it is. Political. My number eight is the Dudley Boys. That's a little, that's a little low. What's wrong with you? You got the Dudley on your list? I do. Okay. And I'll discuss where, when when I get there, I'll discuss why they're there. Okay, my number seven, mm -hmm. Edge and Christian. A little low on that one. Number seven for me is the greatest, one of the greatest brother tag teams of all time. The Sunners. You just did the Sunners. No. Another great, and a, a better, the better than brothers. the Steiners. No, I don't even have them, sorry. Better than the Steiners, the Harlem Dudleys? Heat. Oh. Harlem Heat. Harlem Heat. The Dudleys are not real brothers. Harlem Heat. Number seven. If you watch the thing, they are real brothers from different mothers. No. Move on. Called, did you put the Harlem Heat on there because they're black? No, I put them on there because <laughs> they're a great tag team. Because they're black. He didn't want to get, he want to get in trouble. Oh, I see where you're going here. That's ridiculous. No, I'm going because they're a great tag team. What is your number six, sir? Move on. What was your number six? Oh, yeah, it's my number six. <laughs> it's weird. Number six on is the fly, another, folks. On the fly here. Well, right. weird, on the fly. Number six is another Express, the Rock and Roll Express. Wow. You don't even have them on there, do you? I have the Rock and Roll Express. Of do course. You? They're one of the greatest tag teams of the world. They all are. Times. That's why they're my number six. My number six is the Hollywood Blondes. Very nice. Don't even have them on the list. Because they were not... The Steiners. They were not given enough time to be as great as they could have been. Because of but the time they had, they were, they, were, they were great, the time they had. Politics. They were not given enough time. My number five is the Rock and Roll Express. Oh, look at you. Yes. Number five. My number five is the Hart Foundation. I did you one good. I put them in there. Number five. Better than WWE. Number five, the Hart Foundation. So I guess I go number four now. You do. Number four, Edge and Christian. There's your Edge and Christian. So yes. that's where they should be, sir. Number four? Number four. They're yeah. a great tag team. Great tag team. Well, my number four is the Midnight Express. Very nice. And I had to squeeze them in the four because the three ahead of them are better than they are. But they, I mean, if, uh, if the other three didn't exist, my Midnight Express would be number one. Interesting. Number three for me is the Hardy Boys. Number three for you. 
Yes. Okay. Well, I think I should have went next. You jumped over me. Did you go before. next? No, because you jumped over me. Did you damn Hardy Boys? Hardy Boys. Hardy Boys. I, why did you put uh, EC EC three and and Spud Stable? On there? <laughs> The stud stable. Spud stable. The spud stable. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Next. Okay, my number three is Thank the Hard Foundation. Very good. And if my top two would never existed, they would be number one. All the next, the, my next ones Very good. should all be number one. So. You could tell a generational differences. Here. Okay, That's now my number two is. for you jump over me again. I'll jump over you again. You gotta hurry. Is Art Anderson, Tully Blanchard, part of the Four Horsemen. The brain brain busters. busters with Bobby Heenan, one of the greatest managers, That's if true. not the greatest manager of all time. See, so if we do a top ten manager, we'll do managers. We do a top ten manager. Bobby Heenan will be the my number one. So. We'll do managers later. Arn and Tully were the best. I, Heels, faces, didn't matter. This is true. I, I do like them. They're not. They on can the list, win single like titles. Them. They can win tag team titles in any organization. Who's your number two? My number two is. The Dudley Boys, and the reason I put them in there because they won belts everywhere they went and multiple times. That's why I put them in there because they have proven mm. themselves time and time again as a better tag team because of how many titles they've won. Yes, but they They're can't prove it as singles. Uh, Bully Ray has, but Devon has it. Well, that's his own fault. He Our Reverend Anderson and, Bl Anderson, Anderson and Blanchard. We're going to the tag team and That's singles. fine, but we're not looking at them as singles wrestlers. We're looking at them as tag team. team. Bully Ray. If we're, put, if we're putting singles in there, let's put Rocket Sock Connection back in there. Let's don't. Exactly. I've proven my point. Surprising had the winner, number one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, this guy right here. Or the McMahons, Vince and Shane wasn't number one on the tag team. They've been a tag team, so I guess I need to go with my number one now. Yeah, you yes. know number one. Number one. I threw a bunch of, I mean, my number one is the same, so we could go. I mean, this is... This is our number one together. So. Our number one together is exact same number one as the WWE, the Road Warriors. Yeah. I mean, I they mean, are the greatest tag team. I agree with that. I mean, they won belts everywhere they went, too. They did. That's why I put them so close with the Dudleys, because both tag teams, and everywhere they went, were dominant. They were dominant. And look, you want to talk about the Road Warriors being singles wrestlers? You want to talk about that? They were not. They sucked as singles. They were not good singles wrestlers. No, they were not. So if you want to talk about to get them that high up, have to be good singles wrestlers for the Dudleys to be number two, then that's not right because the Road Warriors sucked as singles wrestlers. They did suck as singles wrestlers. Should have never been singles wrestlers, ever. Never, 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 never. And when we say Road Warriors, LOD, we do not mean anything with Dross or Heidenreich. Nope. Definitely not. Nope. No. The original two, and that's it. Yes. So, like an animal. if anybody loved Heidenreich, you need to go rewatch some old stuff because that was stupid. I believe the downfall was when they gave that stupid pu puppet to Paul Eldering. That was the downfall of the Legion of Doom. That Again, was a WWE the political WWE. thing. Yes. For the kids. Hey, the, the pad, shoulder pads. That's enough for the kids. The yeah, thank you. Didn't have the, you didn't have the manager. No need for a puppet. One of the top managers. Of all time. He'll be in the top ten. To have a stupid puppet. That's stupid. Yes. Now when they got Sonny, that helped a lot. Before she went batshit crazy. Excuse me. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Yes. I, I was never a big fan of that LOD 2000 stuff with her. I don't know. Now you start bringing anybody else in, but you know. All right. Yeah, so. Whatever. It is what it is. But there's our top ten tag teams. We have at least agree on yes. on a few, but not in the same placement. Road Warriors, Hard Foundation, Express. Both Expresses. Rock and Roll Express. The Dudleys. Dudleys. DC. Demolition. Yep. I can't believe you have on Anderson and Blanchard. Sorry. It's a generational thing. What you grew up on is not what I grew up on. Sorry, dude. That's fine. Fine, fine. Just, it's one of the greatest tag teams I understand all time. that, but at the same time, we want to look at, we want to disagree on some things because apparently we can't disagree on nothing with WWE because I would say, we won on every one of those. I would say that I would see the Steiners or Hall & Heat taking over to The Miz and John Morrison, but definitely you should put... Anderson and Blanchard in over the Harlem Heat. Sorry, it's a generational thing. I grew up on a Harlem Heat. I love Harlem Heat. They're awesome. I like With Sister too. Sharon. I not... It's Sister Sharon. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? <laughs> Sister, it was a great. It was a great pairing. Could you want to finish Booker T's line that's made famous on the internet? I'm not gonna say. Hulk Hogan. I'm not gonna say the N word <laughs> on our show. I don't want to be canceled. YouTube's gonna find it. <laughs>
Get out of here! I mean, I'm just telling you, I mean, hold on me. Look out for you, Hulk Hogan! Mm. <laughs> I'm not saying it. <laughs> okay, well, let's They're a great tag team. They are a great tag team. I wish they would have had a run in the WWE. But they didn't. Nope. So, then still we got Booker T. Gold does! Because the brother, I don't know, we're calling the brother. I don't know. They didn't even like the brother. He wouldn't even wrestle by the time WCW got, WCW got sold anyway. He was a commentator. He sucked! So, yeah. That's probably why. He never made it. I would say so. Okay. But anyway. We're also going to be talking about the draft the now. The draft, which was in part four. Part four it of says, the last It's time. on the YouTube. It says title the draft 2014. Yes. 2014, 2014 draft. We want you to go on there. We want you to vote. Yes. We want you to say hashtag TRR Mike, hashtag TRR Justin. And we want you to say which one you thought was a better roster. roster. And then also you can go on there and do your own. Yeah. Put your own on there. I would, I would love to see some of y'all see who you think. They can even put their own hashtag on there with it. Hashtag TRR and put their name on it. Hey, That's now, true. Why not? That is true. I mean, because some Go of the people, it. like I had Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, Cesaro, and Bray Wyatt, and Randy Orton, my top five. Yep. His top fives was John Cena, AJ Styles, Tony Nese, Sami Zayn, and Bo Dallas. So, people of the future. And some of my tag teams, I had the Wyatt family, Ascension Usos. You had the Wolves, Young Bucks, and Kendrick in London. So, I mean, it's yeah. you need to just look, watch the it, episode. It, I think it'd be hard to decide. I mean, we, we both got some great people. Oh, yeah. It just depends on who you like the best. And, and, and you look at everything. Look at their match quality. Look at their marketability. Look at, you know, because when you look at a roster, you got to say, okay, are they going to make me money? Are they going to put on great matches? That's true. Are they going to get the people and put butts in the seats? But, but Foley is not but as we were, as we were talking about this, we come up with one thing we're going to do next week. We'll have for that. We did. We split up ours. I have mine. He has his. Mm -hmm. Next week on our show, we're going to have the top rope reality draft picks. Very nice. From our two picks here. So we're going to combine them. We're together. going to combine them together. The best of the best. But there'll only be seventeen still. So. So we got to we got to knock some people out of there. Some people will go away. John Cena. <laughs> Markability. It is. Money. And we'll see how we do. But I'll, we'd like for you to go, for on, go, on, go on our Facebook page. The kids hate him. They love Because <laughs> he's got, he got the whole oh, world. world. Yes, okay. <laughs> we can't carry a two in a bucket. <laughs> and neither can Bray Wyatt. <laughs> That's true. And Those Cena, kids did well, though. John Cena cracking jokes. <laughs> Lord. Yeah. So, so that's, a, that's about it, yeah. So we're gonna come just back. Go back it. on there, check out the draft. Yeah. Don't forget to vote. Let's get some participation. Hashtag, going hashtag on. it on Facebook. I mean on a Twitter. Put the put it on there on Facebook too. Hell, I don't care. There you go. I want to, I vote. want to see it. I want you to pick me, Mike, as the winner of having the best roster. Not this guy, not Justin, Mike. Sad. Sad. It's like he's trying to run for president over here. Okay, Obama. So anyway, hey, if I had some hands to shake and some babies to kiss, I'd be kissing some hands and shaking some babies. There but you I go. Don't. Shake the babies and go to jail. But anyway, <laughs> you know, you need to vote for me. No. Nope. Overall, if you Mike. go look at my roster, we got tons of people for the future. We got markability with the main event. We got markability with the tag teams. You got great opportunities with everybody on my list. Well, you've got great people on his list too, but my list is better. My list, the spotlight is spread out. Your list is facing on one person, no, John Cena. I got Brock Lesnar. Everybody, on oh, okay, John Cena and Brock Lesnar be fighting. The, I want the spotlight. I want the spotlight. I want the spotlight. Two people will take the spotlight off you all your great, other great hey, talents. I got a great cruiserweight division for mine. <laughs> mine. Everybody <laughs> will share the spotlight, not just two. Oh, uh, it's politics. Guys. They won't all share it. So that's it for part three. Please vote for Mike. Or Justin. Vote for Justin. <sighs> and we'll be right back for part four. We're going to have some just with final thoughts. What's, what, what's on the top of our head, you know? Exactly. It's like this garbage we just did with the draft, and my team's better than yours, but, you know. I got Chris Hero in my Come on, people. <sighs> he couldn't even make it in NXT because he wanted to be fat. We'll be right back, folks, for part four.